What's good, YouTube? Welcome to another video. Uh, the music is real intense, but it's uh, it's Saturday night. I'm going to yell to make sure y'all can hear me over the music. It's Saturday night, and uh, this is the Saturday night turn up. This is a little bit different from usual because uh, I'm finished with my workout right now, but when I got here, I only had two hours to do squat, bench, deadlift, and six accessory movements. Yeah, it was six. So. Somehow I managed to get all that done and I wanted to make sure I had time to get all that done So I didn't say anything. I just went ahead and recorded. I didn't even open the video when I got here So here's the opening what you're about to see next is everything I just said and then the rest of the video So sit back relax grab a drink of water and enjoy <laughs> What's up, yo? What's good? So, thought I'd give y'all a little mukbang for the end of the video, along with a little Q and A. So, on Instagram, I asked people to comment under a picture, ask me some questions, cause I'm really, really bad with DMs, and it only gets worse by the day. And so I figured maybe I would get enough questions under the picture that, you know, some of those questions are questions that other people have. And if not, I can always do another Q&A. But what I got for lunch right here is 225 grams of 93.7 lean ground beef, a pack of the rice that I usually eat, but the, um, it was the jasmine rice and then a half of the container of spinach so we're uh really trying to be dedicated right now because it's definitely not fine dining but it's all good though it's all good let's get into these questions man let's start with the first question 
how did that I love my gut treat you so the other day I put on my Instagram story a clip of me drinking this detox tea and honestly it was really good it didn't like send me to the bathroom so I ain't had to rush to get there you know what I'm saying like whoa bubble guts but when I went to the bathroom I went to the bathroom you know what I'm saying so it was good my biggest pet peeve Honestly, I'm not sure if this is my biggest one, but small talk, man. I hate some small talk. We can sit in silence. I don't like small talk. I don't like unnecessary conversations. Leave it. Maybe second place, be street clothes on the bed. Don't be on my bed. Don't get on my bed with street clothes. Would I ever switch over and do both bodybuilding and powerlifting? No, I don't really have that much of an interest in bodybuilding. I do like for my body to look good, you know what I'm saying? But this is about as far as I can go, you know what I'm saying, with my diet. I don't even really like to do cuts. So, I lead the bodybuilding to the professionals, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... Also, I'm not wearing nobody's bikini on stage. So, I ain't wearing nobody's bikini, nobody's heels, none of that. God damn, y'all. I'm getting this rice everywhere. Man, come on, man. Ugh. All right, next question. How many days do you train? There's two questions in one. How many days do I train? And what do I do to help fight bad cravings? So, I train right now five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And to help fight bad cravings, if I really want to fight them, then I'll try to find something close to them. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, I usually don't fight my cravings. Because by the time I get to craving something like that, I'm personally usually better off just going ahead and eating it. Because after I eat it once, then I'll be alright for a little bit. When I try to fight my cravings too much, it don't really work out. How do I calculate macros? So I'll put the link to the website that I use to calculate mine below. In the description box. I took that and went over to my fitness pal. And plugged in all my grams of carbs, protein and fat and I just rock like that and just a disclaimer I do use the premium version of my fitness pal and it is a difference between like if you're tracking macros and not just like tracking your food it is a difference between the paid version of my fitness pal and the non-paid version so <laughs> do I work out or just take pics all day <laughs> All I do is take pictures, that's it. I don't even, re I really don't even lift. Fake plates. I don't even look like this. You see this right here? Photoshop. <laughs> What's a good beginner powerlifting program? Great question. Um, honestly, if you're a beginner beginner, you can take an easy five by five progression and rock with that. And all it is, is you do the big three, five sets of five, and the next week, you try to get, you try to increase your weight by five to ten pounds. And when you're a beginner, you make so many gains, so you really will jump following that program. I definitely suggest that for anybody <clears throat> interested and getting started with powerlifting because that rep and set range is you know it's it's easy that rep and set range is a good one to start off with so i don't know y'all yeah i look kind of dark yeah five by five um you know slow and steady progression or whatever and if that doesn't work for you there are a lot a lot a lot of free programs online just Pick one and stick with it. And uh, if you find that it's a little bit too advanced, 
then unstick unstick with it and find another one that you can rock with for a little bit. How often do I train my arms? And do I train them with heavy weight or lots of reps? And I'm also your fitness motivation. Thank you for that. Glad to be motivation. My arms, I think I'm on week 10 of this program. So for 10 weeks, I've trained my arms, I think, three times two two or three times i don't i don't remember uh but i only go based on the program i've been trying to be like really strict on that but before i got on this program i hit arms every day i went inside the gym and i do a mix of heavy sets light sets drop sets failure sets you just do whatever just train your arms What's my diet like? Well, for a long time, that was a hard question to answer. <clears throat> for a long time, that was a hard question to answer because I pretty much ate how I wanted to. But once I started tracking my macros in July, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of switched everything up. Now I do a lot of thinking about what I'm going to eat. And if I'm going to eat something shitty, then it's like I make sure it's worth it now. Because it's like, what's the point of going out, eating some full of fat, high carb, not enough protein to make up for it, I'm going to feel sluggish afterwards, and then it's not even going to taste that good? No. If I'm going to eat it, you know what I'm saying, like, and it's not going to be, it's not going to like really fit my macros, then it's going to be something good. If not, then I'm going to just try to eat to survive. So that's why I have literally ground beef and rice and spinach. So that's that I, I have decided like this week I'm gonna try to make a change so right now this is not my lunch it's like six o'clock right now I'm about to get off actually <laughs> just wanted to come and do this right quick but I had my first lunch which was uh, as um, chicken sausage and rice so this is kind of like second lunch slash dinner or whatever because I want to stop eating so late I usually get out of the gym really close to 11 o'clock if not at 11 o'clock so I've been eating full meals at like 11.30 midnight and my, I haven't been feeling good. My face has been super puffy in the morning. So I'm just trying to make a change. So now if I get out the gym, I'm not saying I'm not going to eat. So I'm not necessarily intermittent fasting. But, you know, I might eat like a banana or yogurt or some protein shake. Not a full meal. Ugh, that was too much. What's a good arm workout? I got a couple of my old arm workouts on my, on my channel. So after you watch this video, maybe go check out some of those. I usually put it in the uh, title of the video. Um, but honestly, anything that's gonna have you like, feeling like you can't move your arms. Good arm workout. How much BCAA do you drink daily? How do I go about increasing your weight? I gotta live to avoid plateauing and be as strong as I am. Number one, thank you for calling me strong appreciate that number two usually when I have aminos I don't even have aminos right now man I usually only drink like a scoop before the gym and if I'm feeling really bad then I'll drink a scoop on my way to work and a scoop before the gym but you know aminos it's like that's why I, I tell people all the time <clears throat> don't feel pressured to go get a whole bunch of supplements because you don't need any of them they just help and you just drink however much you need for real for real uh, just based off the back I think they recommend like two to three servings a day so well anywhere from like one to three so read the back and listen to your body um just trying out different programs once I hit a plateau matter of fact the deadlift plateau I hit was um 365 pounds I hit that and made the beginner gains got there and after that it took me like a year to even get 375 to make that 10 pound jump so it's just staying disciplined and probably the results that I've gotten from this last program now I kind of feel like sub maximal training sub maximal high volume and consistency I feel like it's what is giving me 
uh, the gains that I'm making right now, the big gains that I'm making right now, you know what I'm saying? Because it is, and I know it can be discouraging once you hit a plateau, but you gotta like move around, you know what I'm saying? Like either find a different program, uh, maybe change the, <clears throat> for most, so, so for most programs, when you get started, you have to put in your maxes, like in the, you know, if it's an Excel spreadsheet in the first page of the Excel spreadsheet or whatever, so maybe if you hit a plateau, maybe go there, take your maxes down a little bit, and then really focus on engaging all the muscles, focus on your form, focus on addressing your weak spots and all of that stuff with the max that's like below your actual max, and you might see some results there. But just move it around, switch it around, try something different. Um, oh, snap, that's actually it. Everything else is just like a regular comment. Um. While I finish this food, I'm going to think about other questions that I see a lot. I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of full, man. <laughs> see? The issue is... Well, that's never happened before. My camera said I was recording too long. Um, yeah, I already plugged in the full container into my uh, fitness pal so so I already tried the macros maybe I'll just take a second um there's just more general facts about me I just did this not too long ago, but I'll do it again. Um, five, six. Roughly. I say right now, you can catch me at 190 pounds. Because I have some I have some days where the scale don't be uh, banging with me. And I creep back to like 192, 191. And then I got some days where this jawline be real cut because that'd be about 187. With that being said, come December... I will be competing in the A3 kilogram weight class. I would like to drop down the weight class, but I also like to eat, so I don't know. Oh, I know a good question. Other stuff I'm interested in besides the gym. I've recently gotten into videography, and I like it a lot. I like to draw when I can. I don't get to draw that often. I was a DJ when I was in college. That was lit. I'm a big, 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 big Harry Potter fan. Like, big Harry Potter fan. And I ain't even talking... I'm not talking about the movies. The movies were, like, okay. But the books... I can't even tell... If, what, if I tell you the amount of times... Like, an estimate of the amount of times that I've read each book... You're probably gonna think that I'm lying. Or exaggerating or whatever. But... Dead ass. That's all I used to do when I was a kid. I used to just read my Harry Potter books... And when a new one was coming out, I had to reread all of them again, you know, so I get ready for it or whatever. But that was all I wanted to do, man. Like, some of my favorite shows, it's like The Office, top top ten, top ten, Ivy, my dog, <laughs> top ten, bro, Boz Burgers. A uh, recent show that I banged with, Handmaid's Tale. Y'all ain't watched The Handmaid's Tale, you missing out. And you need to you need to get on that. The amazing word of gumball. That's about it. This point like SpongeBob. <laughs> if y'all couldn't tell, if you didn't watch my birthday video, my birthday is July 9th, 1993. I'm a cancer. I'm 25. Oh, when I did play basketball, why I say it's so country? <laughs> when I did play basketball, I played power forward. Yeah, five six power four baby. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> My favorite superhero is Thor, hands down. Dude's a beast. So if y'all see any like Thor merchandise, hook me up. I feel like that was pretty good. I answered all the questions. I gave y'all some facts about me. And I finished this food. That's how you make gains, man. You don't wait till you get hungry to eat. You don't stop eating when you feel 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might be, you might be good to go. No, you're not good to go. Make the games, eat the food, lift the weights. That's it. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> so, now that I've finished my food, I'm going back in here, wrap this up, and then dip so I can go to the gym. Yeah, man. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please. If you enjoyed the video, if you like seeing me collab with other people in the area to get in workouts, let me know down below and I'll do it a little bit more often. And uh, and yeah, man, keep keep commenting stuff down below. Uh, keep showing the love because I appreciate all of that. The comments down below, they really help me kind of think through, you know what I'm saying, like what it is that I'm going to do next and all that shit. So all that being said, I'm going to go in here, wrap it up so I can get ready and go move this weight, man. We got squats and bench tonight. And uh, I think it's still only RPE like six and seven, but that's okay. That's okay because it's still weight getting moved, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still excited. And my cousin already texted me to let me know she ain't got to work tonight. So we in there together. The OGs. I don't even know, man. Sometimes at certain certain times of the day if if I don't get enough activity going I just get a little I get a little weird I can admit that I can admit that I'm big enough to do that I said I ain't gonna ramble man why the hell do y'all keep letting me sit here ramble like that's it that's it the video is done hit the like button for me share it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and take it easy I'll catch you next time I don't think this is gonna work because <laughs> we're gonna see